Ever wonder where I got my nickname? Nickname? Yeah, my nickname. The Butcher. Ever wonder why they call me that? I was born in Rome. Um, I kid around. I say I was, I was conceived uh, during uh, uh, my father's Freud, <laughs> born during the Bible, and and teethed on Night of the Iguana. <laughs> so so I was I mean, immediately I was traveling a lot. But uh, my my mother fell in love with 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 Rome um, during my father making the Bible, which took some time. As the Bible tends tends to do, <laughs> and uh, and so uh, as a kid, I grew up in in Italy and Ireland. Well, first, I got a job as a shill. Within a couple of months, I was the best butcher on the lot, and they called me the butcher, carne butcher. I had a great time as 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 a kid growing up, uh, spending time with my father's film sets. Uh, one of my favorite memories was Man Would Be King. Uh, where I went to the Atlas Mountains in Morocco, and 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 there was my father and Sean Connery, Michael Caine, Christopher Plummer, of course, a Kipling uh, novel, and and um, and so I just thought this is just fantastic. I was meeting the uh, the tribe people in Morocco, the the blue people, and it was just so exotic and incredible that 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 was without doubt this is what I want to do. And then I, I I saw my mother, my mother, and uh, um, sometimes. Uh, help my father out when he was feeling pressured. Um, and the amount of money and the whole sort of circus act that involves making a film uh, can sometimes be quite daunting. Um, so, And I love to paint and draw, so I thought, you know what, I don't need um, this vast amount of money to, to produce uh, something that I, that, that, that I care about. Um, so I went to uh, art school in England. Um, and um, and during my period in art school, there were lots of uh, gallery openings and and um, and lots of drinking a, a wa of warm white wine. <laughs> and I realized that there was just about about as much nonsense uh, around the art world as I suppose there is in any business. My ambition was to direct, not to act. So I was directing and and writing. And my first job was actually to do a. a a title sequence for my father uh, for a film that he made called Under, Under the Volcano. And, uh, and so I was, I was really happy that I directed my first film, a film called Mr. North. And, uh, and, uh, and, and sadly, my, my, my father passed away, and I kind of lost my, 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 my friend, my buddy, um, to confide in. And, uh, and I was stuck in L.A. in a sort of seasonless uh, state. And um, fellow directors, out of the kindness of their hearts, saw me sort of years going by, saw me doing nothing, and they started offering me small parts. And uh, the parts got bigger. Here I am as an actor. I heard <coughs> they say that you caught a hooker stealing change from your night table. And you cut off both of her hands and nailed them above your bed. <laughs> well, I guess the moral is you can't fight a good nickname. 